Aryan Robin shocked the world by returning to his boyhood club, FC Groningen, just months after announcing his retirement. But as it turns out, he's not the only player to pull a Michael Jordan make a triumphant return. Here are six footballers who couldn't resist the beautiful game and came back from retirement. Number 1. Paul Scholes At 37 years of age, Paul Scholes decided to call it quits after winning the Premier League for the 10th time. But just six months later, the club were in the midst of an injury crisis. A crisis so bad, they were forced to play Phil Jones and Fabio in central midfield. That'd be like Arteta playing Mustafi and David Luiz in the center of the park. Yikes. It was also the reason Paul Pogba left for Juventus. But that's a story for another time. Scolzi returned in the Manchester Derby, helping his team to a 3-2 win over their noisy neighbors. And just one season later, he won his 11th Premier League title before calling it quits for good. Number 2. Peter Cech Chelsea legend Peter Cech last played for Arsenal in the 2018-19 season. But earlier this year, the 38-year-old made headlines across the world when he was named to Chelsea's Premier League squad. Poor Kepa. First they signed Mindy. And then they bring Czech out of retirement? As it turns out, Czech has been named Chelsea's emergency goalkeeper. This is a precautionary step due to the unprecedented conditions currently caused by the COVID-19 crisis. He takes up a position as a non-contract player. It remains entirely unlikely we'll ever see Czech suit up for the Blues again. But stranger things have happened. Number 3. Lionel Messi after winning his sixth Ballon d'Or, Lionel Messi struck fear into the hearts of those worldwide when he told us his retirement was fast approaching. But did you know he's already retired and come back? Twice? After losing four straight international finals with Argentina, La Pulga declared his international career over in 2016. For me, the national team is over. I've done all I can. It hurts to not be a champion. Of course, he came back and single-handedly dragged Argentina to the 2018 World Cup. But after losing to eventual champions France in the round of 16, he took another break from La Albiceleste. Will Messi ever win a major trophy with Argentina? Or will this be the only photo we ever have of him celebrating with his national team? I mean, he also won this trophy, but does anybody even know what that is? Number 4. Johan Cruyff Remember earlier when we said the players couldn't resist the call of the beautiful game? Well, Johan Cruyff's return from retirement was for a different reason. I had lost millions in pig farming, and that was the reason I decided to become a footballer again. Yes, the Dutch magician was scammed by a bunch of pigs and had to return to football to make ends meet. But after parading around the United States for a few years, he would finish his legendary career with stints at Levante, Ajax, and Feyenoord. Number 5. Zinedine Zidane Remember this? Well, it almost didn't happen. After all, Zinedine Zidane retired from the French national team after losing to Greece in the 2004 Euros. But when France looked certain to miss out on the 2006 World Cup, the nation begged Zizou to return. So the captain came back, led France to the final, and smashed Marco Materazzi in the chest. After this historical incident, Zinedine Zidane retired for good. Number 6. Jens Lehmann Jens Lehmann starred for Arsenal between 2003 and 2008. But when Arsenal shockingly lost all three senior goalkeepers to injury in 2011, the club legend returned for one final appearance. He led the Gunners to a 3-1 victory over Blackpool and became the oldest player to ever appear for Arsenal in the Premier League. So there you have it. These six legendary players proved that retirement is never permanent. Which player would you like to see come out of retirement to help their former club? 